Good morning, everyone. My name is Angelica Aguirre. I'm with doctors Magical, Sarah Purka, and Penelope Lindek. We have made a proposal for the microplastic sediment mammography protocol. This is based on the thesis evaluation of the presence of microplastic in invertebrates. Anadera tuberculosa, Mariusca Yudalvia, Anuncias Occidentalis, Crescencia de Capoa, for the mangrove ecosystem in Dumas Spirit. Our objectives are the main of them is to evaluate microplastic presence in invertebrates and an tuberculosa of black shell and UCS occidentalis mangrove crop from the mangrove ecosystem in Dumas. And our secondary objectives are the first one is to evaluate microplastic presence in the yields and the yes track of an tuberculosa and UCS occidentalis in five zones from the mangrove ecosystem in Dumas. The second one is to evaluate the microplastic presence in the sediment from the farm zones in the mangrove ecosystem from Tumbes. And the third one is to identify the chemical composition of the microplastic found in the mangrove crop, the black shell, and the sediment. These are the knobs from all the mangrove ecosystem here in Tumbes. We divide them in five different zones. The coastal upper zone and the channel upper zone belongs to the National Sanctuary. A terrible central zone is without waste wastewater treatment. The tourist central zone it has a lot of recreational activities, and the lower zone is in the mouth of Tumbes River and is also known as La Chepa Man. The channel upper zones is close to the international channel between Peru and Ecuador, and the coastal upper zones has a lot of movement from the Pacific Ocean. Here are a species. The first one is a mangrove crab and the second one, the black shell. Both of them are very commercial here in Tumbes. We have more than 10 dishes all about them. For each site, we collect three samples with a total of 45 crabs. And from the black shell, also we collect three samples for each site with a with, for each site with a total of 42 shells. We only collect male crabs with a cephalothorax width greater than 65 millimeters and only black shells with a minimum extraction size greater than 45 millimeters. All the samples were reserved according to Nagi, Nuri, and Medhak 2018 in aluminum foil plus ice and stored in a cooler to be transported. For the sediment, we collected near to the red mangrove, Pisophora mangrove, using a metal spatula. And all the samples were preserved in aluminum foil and stored in a cooler to be transported. Prior to analysis, we have to check all the quality assurance and quality control. The first, here are some recommendations. The first is to clean all working surface with milk water or ethanol. Second one is to avoid the use of air conditioning or open windows, use cotton clothes, work in a lam laminar flow hood or equivalent for the preparation and filtration, and try to use all glass or metal materials if you have. Wash all materials at least three times with filtered water before use, and apply blanks. So for the same samples in the laboratory, the first step is to place the samples in a petri dish, then leave a petri dish open with a GFF at each stage of processing and dry the same in the stove at 50 degrees for 72 hours. Keep all the samples in a laminar flow hood. The preparation of solution for density separation, this is in the case of sodium chloride, the first step is to place all the clean items inside the laminar flow hood. You also have to leave a petri dish open with a GFF at each stage of processing. Wait the salt before mixing. We did this step in every before mix it into hot distilled water until it no longer dissolves. Then pour all the solution through a 1.5 microns GFF 
to have ultra green high density salt solution and then keep it in a glass, in a clean glass container. You also can check density by weighing 100 milliliters of salt solution three times. I have them in of them. Then we use the same in microplastic isolation as my unit by Kapok et al. 2017. First, you have to clean all the SMI components with ultra pure water before assembly. Then from the black, you have to pour 700 sodium chloride solution into the SMI unit. You have to ensure that the valve is completely submerged. You have to open and close the valve several times and wait five minutes. Then filter the sodium chloride solution through a 25 microns mesh. This control will have to use prior to use and after three times. Or well, here we have the formula. We have 50 grams of triacement plus a magnetic stirrer plus 700 of milliliters of chlorine solution solution. You have to mix this formula for five minutes. Way to settle down for another five minutes and pulls three short stirrings to allow to escape of dropout air bubbles. Have to wait to settle down and just close the valve and filter through a 45 micro mesh. You have to transfer the meshes to a clean petri dish and seal with par film. Examine out the meshes under the stereo and quantify the shape color and the size. Here are some key challenges and concern. The first one is that sampling in the mango in the dry season is very difficult, almost impossible to do due to the scarcity of water in the channels and the limited movement of boats. Due to the pandemic, a limited number of people can go to sample so you have to make sure everyone knows the protocol. Before starting the sampling process, you have to make sure you have all the necessary regions and equipment. Regions usually take a long time to arrive, especially here in Peru. Avoid cross-contamination as much as possible, both in the field and in the laboratory. And if the samples must be transferred between laboratories, Wrap them in aluminum foil and cotton to avoid contamination. And that's all. Thank you very much.